All right, first off, how we doing? Hope you're all staying safe. Welcome back to more of the Expanse, a Telltale series. The first episode was actually a sponsored video. Uh, this one is not, though. I just wanted to see what happens. So we're continuing right where we left off last time. Here's what I was going to do. I was going to do the entire episode in one video, and each time I play this, if I do more, I'll do, like, one video per episode instead of, like, multiple parts, you know? So, all right, love you all. Let's go ahead and jump in. I appreciate the like support you drop on this, especially these longer videos. It take a little more time to create. So all my choices should be still there. Let's see. Episode summary. Yeah, it shows all the different choices. All right, so here's kind of what we did last time. I'm not going to go down the list, but that's pretty much like the last few things. All right, this is the one that I was kind of shocked. It's actually different percentage now, I think, because more people have actually played it. That's like the worst one. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and do episode two. Here we go. Please, Kamina, don't do this. Take him to the brig. How long until the pirates are back in range? Hour, maybe two, depending on burn. Same as last time. <laughs> the time before that. And the tin time before that. <sighs> How are you doing? I'm not the one we need to worry about. Uh, let's see, she's getting weaker. She's tough. I'll go with the first one. Don't tell her I said this, but Khan's the toughest person I know. I think the bullet just made her mad. Tough or not, she's going to need help soon. You'll figure something out. I know you will. Motherfuckers! Shouldn't be possible! ETA, eight minutes! They must have increased their burn this time. Uh, don't these Pashangwalas rest? Humans rest. Pirates are fucking animals. We need to do something about your arm. Virgil has the med bay prepped and ready. It's fine. Hardly hurts anymore. We're outgunned and nearly out of fuel. Unless we come up with a plan to shake them soon, infection's gonna be the least of my problems. Let's see, what should we do? What would Cox do? Let's do that one. What do you think Cox would do? Hell should I know. You wanna ask him yourself? No. Cox went with his gut. For better and worse. That's what a captain does. But maybe you're no fucking captain. Captain. Coordinates, 82-14. What are we looking at? Fuck if I know. It's a ship's graveyard. Debris field. Caught in orbit around that body. There's nothing registered there. How do you know? Back when I was MCRN, there were reports of a proxy battle right around here with UNN forces. Never confirmed, but seemed legit. Or much more likely, it's some solar backscatter, radiation cluttering, or any other fucking thing. Mm, let's see, how confident are you? How large was it? I'm gonna go with the first one. How sure are you? Jeez, after the last few days, I'm not sure I could tell the difference between a pistol grip ratchet and a flex head. <laughs> 80%. New plan. 
We run for cover in there. Won't work, boss man. If we, if we break their lock, they'll be able to track our drive plume. There won't be a drive plume. We burn hard for here first, then cut engine and turn into orbit. Let it carry us around until we land in the debris. Slingshot, fuck yes! Could work, if there is actually something there. Stations! Con, on my word, loose a PDC volley, then turn and burn. in the debris field. <laughs> you did it, boss man! Fucking legend! Quiet! We don't have much time. The pirates are searching for us, and we can't run again without more fuel and reaction mass. Arlen? Baratna and I will head out and start scanning. Captain, I'm prepped for surgery as soon as Khan is ready. <sighs> Tell that waste of oxygen I wouldn't be needing surgery if he didn't freak out the first time. I'm still here. Uh, he'll be fine. He's all we have. Interesting. I'll be the first one. Virgil won't let you down. The prosthetic is ready. Is the, uh, patient? Fine. But you're staying to make sure Dr. Dipshit doesn't cut off the wrong arm. Scanners, I'm picking up any signs of fuel. Keep looking. Meantime, I'll go for their reaction mass. Alright, we're in control, finally. What a mess. 
What got Earth and Mars so worked up? And what's a Belta ship doing in the middle of it? Who knows? Hopefully they all got some reaction mass on board though. Damn. The blast doors to the Laguna are locked down. Not sure if there's a way to open them. Always a way through. If you got enough explosives. Go check out the other ships. I'll see what I can rig up. You want to use explosives to blast through a blast door. Guess that could work. All right, so find some, uh, I don't know, dynamite, C4, whatever we're going to find out here. <clears throat> all right. Reaction Can't mass. even tell which ship is which. It's all blasted to Falota. There's definitely more scrap here than a few ships can account for. Maya was right. This was a full-on proxy battle. With a Belta ship at the center. What is this? Just gotta collect whatever I can find. I missed a lot of stuff in the first episode, but I also felt like I explored pretty good. I just... I'm guessing I just didn't, uh... Hold on. I wasn't thorough enough, I guess. Okay, here's what I'm wondering. Is every episode going to be like we find a... Like an abandoned ship or a scavenging ship, something like that, and then something crazy happens? Because I don't think anything can top that first episode. All right. Let's just uh, call him, I guess. Hmm. The Martian ship had focus drugs on board. Must have wanted to question someone. I hate those things. Rayon and I got busted by the MCR in once. Didn't think I'd leave that interrogation room alive. Watching that Martian's eyes go all weird. Last time we ever stole anything on Vesta, had to move to Ceres and start stealing there. All right, wait, can we actually pick these up? Were they planning for an interrogation? Then why'd they start shooting? Focused. Interesting. So we can go down there. Yep, we're 100% going here. Here we go. I will say this, playing on mouse and keyboard, so I have it for PS5, and I was going to play it on there, but I didn't want to redo the entire episode, so I just decided to stick with this. But the M and K controls are a little rough because this is like the max sensitivity when you're like trying to turn. It's not as fast as I was hoping, but I could also just adjust that with my uh, DPI settings or whatever. All right, here we go. Might be able to rewire this guidance system to work with our ammo. It was good enough for Earth and Mars to tear each other apart. And neither side surrendered, even after taking heavy fire. Stupid Inyas, they never know when to quit. Thought it was, uh... Wait, what? I still haven't watched the show at all. Somebody told me to check it out and I was going to. Oh, let's go ahead and... I'm sure Khan will be fine. But it wouldn't hurt to check on the crew. Don't want to interrupt, but how is everything down there? The auto dock kept us on track, but Virgil had to do some of the larger incisions himself. Khan will be out for a while. When she wakes up, we'll try to attach the prosthetic Ooh. and... What the... Oh, yeah. good. Maya. Shit. Found some reaction mass. Toss it to me. I will store it. Nice toss, Cap. Woo! Boss man, you probably noticed me Baratna has been a little edgy lately. Ray, your brother has been an angry Pasheng Wallow since my first day on board. This is different. He... He's got the shakes. It's the pixie dust. But he's been clean for almost a year. He takes some meds that help keep him straight, but... But we haven't done a supply run in weeks. Yeah. Ran out of toxiperidone three days ago. Don't worry, boss man. He'll be fine. He's tough. But... Thought you should know. You have to wait for the dialogue to stop and be able to collect stuff, which is... I used to Maya's make sense. always complaining about the tools in the engineering bay. Maybe an MCRM model would cheer her up. Yeah, Cap. Cheer up the Martian girl with your tool. Pasheng Fong. 
Oh, we got like a secondary objective to find medicine. I might just stick to the critical path as much as I can because getting sidetracked can be kind of easy out here in space. But I haven't checked out the show yet. I probably will eventually. I just, uh, this is apparently like a prequel anyway, so it doesn't really help to even watch it just yet. But I've heard it's actually really good. Where was this? Looks like we're going that way. So let me just check back here really quick. Uh-oh, something's floating in here, I think. Or is it like a... Oh, dear. <laughs> this is not good. Maya? Status report? Fire the torpedo! Give those sons of bitches a welcome, or I'll throw you in the brig! Sit down, or I'll cut off the other arm! Sorry, Cap, what was that? Are the pirates back? Wait, are the pirates attacking? No! Khan is just a little woozy from the anesthesia. Don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna knock her out if she gets up again. All right, what we got here? Ugh. And Inya say that Belta food is disgusting. Got a lot of stuff you can just inspect, but not actually collect. Okay, look or yes, call. Cox, I need you to tell me everything you know about this Toussaint and the Europa's Bing. They're pirates. What's to tell? Helpful as always. I'll leave you to enjoy the brig. Wait, wait. Is Khan? Uh, I mean, how is she? She'll live. No thanks to you. Or that hothead Virgil. He's the one who lunged in and made the gun go off. Which was in response to you provoking him. You seem to say that he was hiding something from us. Maybe. Let me out of here and we can talk about it. Mmm, no. Earthers love their oceans. Too bad they destroyed them all. What I like about this game and like comparably speaking to other Telltale games in the past is this one seems a lot more mature. Like, they're not afraid to make like a serious thing, you know? Is everything, um... Okay, she just said we've been boarded. And now she's wandering around looking for intruders. So, everything's fine. Uh, head on to control. There we go. Maya, this is Khan we're talking about. No one knows what she's capable of. You need to hide. First of all, fuck you. Second of all, she's gonna hurt herself if she... Wait. Hey there. Do you want to lie down for a minute? Do you want to fucking die? Oh, no. That cannot be good. Got a barrel here. I'll take her. I love how he just pops up right when I collect those. That's funny. Good work, Sasata. Boss Mang, I got everything hooked up to blow the door. Head back to the Laguin and check it out. Got it. Hopefully we'll find enough reaction mass to get out of here. And then what? We going treasure hunting? Yeah. You think those coordinates go anywhere interesting? Uh, let's see. The pirate's dead. We've been on the run for a week because somebody thinks so. Think so with a lot of torpedoes and guns, even. Let's go ahead and just check these things out first. Must be the captain. Very proud of his connections to the UN and brass. All right, just a photograph. Look at this photo. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, feel free to read all this if you want to. Shaking down some skinnies who flew off course, okay. All right. So the Belters stole some tech from the MCRN. That's how this started. Then why did the UNN get involved? Mmm, let's go the first one. They figured that whatever the Belters had, it was worth taking. Of course they did. Wait, just some random mag boots just chilling. All right. Go ahead and take these. These boots might fit Khan. Once I get the feet out of them. Oh. Yeah, feet are a good sign. Means they work. 
like how straightforward everything is. It's like being in space is not what I ever imagined like a telltale thing to be returning to, you know? If anything, I was thinking like, hey, more of The Walking Dead. I think like one of the first two games they ever made, at least some of them, was uh, Back to the Future, which I never played, and also Jurassic Park, I believe. Never played that one either. Explosives are set. Good work, Kamina. Now let the whole station see what happens to traitors who sell out the OPA to the Inyas. I'm in. Anything else around here? All right, well, here goes. Hmm, another blast door. Pashing. Fine, I'll get more explosives. No need. I should be able to access the lockdown controls from the bridge. Good thinking, Cap. Could still find more explosives. Just in case. I'm imagining at any point we're going to run into, like, Isaac Clark or something. Um, okay. More explosives are needed. Maybe I actually go up right here. That's the only thing I can think of. I was, like, sitting down to play this, and I was like, I'm actually kind of hyped to see what's about to happen. Because the first episode... <laughs> It's funny how, like, YouTube doesn't like certain things nowadays. And one of the major things in the first video was when you walk in that room and all the heads are floating. And I was just like, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Looks like the crew tried to record a message. This message is to all Erda and Martian security forces in the area. We have received your warnings and demands, and this will be our only response. The MCRN says we have stolen their property. The UNN says we are traveling illegally in their sector. We recognize neither of your claims over us. This is our belt. Torpedoes, away! Incoming! Stand down now and let us keep our course. We will either join our OPA Baratas on Titania, or sacrifice ourselves to your destruction. There is no other option. Count on order. Who here is prepared to die for your belt? Belt on order. Belt on order. Belt on order. Belt on order. We got two things right here. I'm going to check out. We got this one. Wouldn't let anyone get their hands on that tech. Good for them. The navigation. All right. They were heading toward Titania to link up with the Belter sector. Almost made it. I don't know why I stretched out the word navigation. All right, let's see if we can go down. Whoa, hold on, what was that? Thought I interacted with a comm station. Oh, this same thing. Is to all okay. And Martian security Whoa, I'm dizzy. In the area. We have it's just gonna keep playing. That's fine. Demands, and this will be our only. Really? Okay, if you get far enough away, it actually stops. Very interesting. Then we just leave the area, right? Here we go. I'll need to make a hole to pass this to the twins. Blowtorch? Uh-oh, same as the first episode. Going right, going down, going left, going up. There we go. Wait, what? Okay, we're good. Found another barrel. Woo! This is loaded! Or oh, whatever the Inyas say. <laughs> Touchdown! Woo! I've got some radiation from a nearby ship, the Manitoba. Scanner shows the engine is mostly intact. Maybe a few pellets too. Boss man, that's the far edge of the debris field. You'll be exposed. You two head back to the Artemis. Everyone stays on the ship, but be ready to pick me up on my order.
We're picking up a communication from the Europa's Bane. Sabaka, they locked us? No, it's a broadcast. But they must know we're close. Patch it over. There is no sense in running anymore. You know who I am, and I am looking forward to meeting you. Contact me to discuss the terms of your surrender. Or just sit and wait until we find you. It's only a matter of time. Shit, shit, shit. Cap, you got to get back here. Not without fuel pellets. Stupid drone is stuck. What are we doing here? I mean, like, we're about to push him in the laser? Well, it's one way to do it. Sabaka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to chase the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. Yo, straight through. Let's go, baby. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. It's moving. What about behind me? Are we good? All right, it's going around. It's actually pretty wild. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I don't know who that was we even kicked. This is one of the pirates or whatever. Uh, We're going. You're a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drummer. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profits. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. Not that the OPA is any better. I'm dead. Really no! Oh my goodness. Reload checkpoint. Oh, it's right back here. That was kind of a quick load. It's like the game expected me to get killed. I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. The fact that I do all that again, though, I was like having a great run there too. Sabaka. I doubt they will all be so easy to kill. Virgil, if I respond, will they be able to chase the signal? No, it will only confirm you are in broadcast range. But they seem pretty sure of that already. Put me through. Captain Zapata, this is Kamina Drummer of the Artemis. I don't want to fight you, but keep sending your crew after me, and I'll be forced to keep killing them. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. That one comes out to the left. Barely made it there. All right, this is the one that goes that way, and then we go across. You're right. a long way from Siri Station, Kamina Drummer. You've heard of me? I've heard of your work and your bounty. But if I'm speaking to you, what happened to Garrison Cox? He attempted to double his profit. As a result, I am now captain. Not surprising. There's no loyalty among scavengers. No, right, so that the OPA is any better. You must really enjoy the company of miscreants. All right, we're back to where we were at least. Got to get through there. Oh man, I hope there's a checkpoint up there. Going through. Please tell me we're close. Oh no, more? All right, yep. Um, I feel like going straight over the middle might be the play here. Let's see where this goes first, hold on. All 
Oh, no, no, no. I'm, like, floating everywhere. Hold on, I'm just trying to, like, get under control. All right. Okay. Woo! I think we're good. Yes! There we go. He's over here! I almost messed up there. No! Gotta be kind of quick on those. I mean, it is a quick time event. I guess it makes sense, right? <laughs> hey, it's saved. Nice. Okay. So I was like wondering, something big has to happen this episode, because right now it's been pretty chill. I mean, yeah, we're fighting pirates right now, but nothing crazy has went down, you know? You can always retreat, Toussaint. Protect the rest of your crew. Your reputation is well earned, Captain Drummer. Daniel and Yuri were, they were two of my best. But their needless deaths do not change. Enough. I've had a very long week in a crash couch because of you. Either fall back or keep sending your men to die. Those are your options. All right, see what we got. So far, so good. Please tell me this thing has ammo. I'm on my way. No! Everyone, stay back! What's happening? Why are the pirates pulling away? There are always more options, Captain. I'll have the coordinates. Even if I have to comb through rubble to find them. Goodbye. You're bluffing. Hello? Toussaint! Come on. Gotta be some ammo left. PDC delivery. Uh, are you crazy? Sabaka! Are you crazy? You could get killed. So could you. Now step back and let me do my job. I don't know what the fuck you two are doing, but I'm approaching your location on control thrusters for whenever we shut off. Glad you're back at your post. What are you waiting for? We only get one shot before they know our position. There! Hold it down, okay. Uh-oh. Hey, so far so good. I almost didn't even see that one. It was so, like, small or whatever. That's funny. Hey, nice. Whoa, yeah! Did you see that? Uh oh. We got one more. That better not be the end of the episode. That would be wild if it is. That'd be too short, I feel like. Con! No! Are they shooting? Are we locked? Con!
fuck you did. It worked. Well, I believe celebrations are in order. Coordinates are set for the MK Core. Time to see what all the fucking fuss is about. With the fuel you found, we should have no problem getting there and back to Ganymede, at least. And how is the new... prosthetic? It'll do. Get some rest, Captain. No telling what we'll find at those coordinates. Alright, sorry for the weird cut. I actually had to run downstairs. I, I, right as soon as we got in control, I was like, alright, let me go make sure everybody's good. I heard some crying, so. Clementine's all good. So what are we doing right now? Just talk to Khan? Khan's over here chilling, though. Alright, here goes. Hey, Khan. Resting. Go away. <clears throat> Destinations, pirates. I'll do all three. I mean, we have to do the last one, right? Any guesses on our destination? Nada. All I know is that it's far the fuck out there. So ever hid that treasure, wanted it far the fuck away. Uh, all right, pirates. Can you believe how vicious these pirates are? Yes. I mean, how they were willing to blow us up just to prove a point. Yes. So you don't think there's anything special about them? Yes, I do. They seem to have more guns. Good talking to you, Khan. Yeah, yeah. I feel like something big has to happen because each episode is probably going to have a cliffhanger of some sort. I'm just wondering what exactly is going to be this one, you know? Because it's like the drama and the action's over now. So now what? It's been a rough week. I should check in with the crew and see how everyone's doing. All right, crew deck. Here we go. Somebody asked me my favorite Telltale game that they actually created. I'm kind of torn right now, you know, because obviously I named my daughter after The Walking Dead, right? So The Walking Dead Season 1 is probably like the goat for me. <laughs> uh, the other ones are probably like The Wolf Among Us and that Batman one they did was actually really good too. Uh-oh, hold on. We're just talking to everybody, right? Here we go. Music player, hopefully nothing crazy. Hey, Cap. Uh, thank you, Khan. Oh yeah, Khan's arm. Khan seemed pleased with her prosthetic. That's good. Although you realize we just took the most unhinged person on the ship and gave her a bionic skull crusher for an arm. I think if Khan wanted to kill someone, she could do it without arms or legs. Uh, thank you, music. Let's do thank you. What you did in the debris field was incredibly reckless. You disobeyed my order, and you put the whole- Oh my god. You're fucking welcome. I was getting to that. Thank you. 
Anytime. Um, I think we're good. I'll leave you to it then. Wait. Um. About that moment in the airlock. Yes. Are you feeling any better? I know you were pretty scared given how tightly you were holding my hand. But say, you held my hand. Yeah, that's. Felt sorry for you. That sounds like a bad response. Let's go with the first one. I'm pretty sure you grabbed my hand in there. Oh, sure. We can go with that if you want. I'm just saying, I'm here if you need to talk. The only thing we need to talk about is your delusional fantasizing about me. I get it. It must be hard for the boss Meng to express her feelings. <laughs> Especially to the hot Martian engineer who can totally kick your ass. Not according to that scoreboard. My point is, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Hmm. Even if you did clink helmets with me. Clink helmets? What is that supposed to mean? I think you know exactly what it means. Helmet clinker. Trying to kiss? Oh, we got some romance. All right, here we go. So what? Let's pretend for a moment that we did touch helmets. So what? You're clearly obsessing over such an insignificant moment. It's sad. Bullshit. From the look in your eyes, I would have thought helmet clinking was Belter third base. You know, we could stand here talking about hands and helmets all night. Or we could go back to my room and... Settle it. <laughs> the second one, though. Uh, by fighting. I'm confused. Are you still trying to fight me? Either way, someone will definitely be getting slammed against a wall. That was about to escalate, and then it didn't. I don't know what happened there. She definitely likes you, though. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get this. All right. Talk to Virgil. Here we go. I'm actually excited. Now that I'm, like, playing this, I'm actually hyped for the Wolf Among Us, the second one now. Because if they do it right, it's going to be amazing. They're just chilling. Okay, we got a poster. Maya and Virgil learned a lot of Lang Belta swear words in the past week. Khan seems to already know them all. <laughs> it's like a swear jar, kind of. Alright, here's Virgil. What's on your mind, Captain? We got one option. Well, two, really. But. Cox said you were hiding something. Something that Belters wouldn't like. Cox is a habitual liar. First, he tried to murder you. Then he tried to deflect blame onto me. So there's nothing else you wish to share? Nothing you're hiding? No, Captain. No more than anyone else on this ship. Get some rest, Virgil. Will do, Captain. All right, get some well-deserved rest. Everything is kind of built up right now to where I don't know if... There's no way the episode can just end. I'm trying to, like, base it off of how long the first episode was. Versus this so far, you know? If I sleep with Maya, the entire crew will know about it. 
Nothing stays secret on a ship like this. Is one night worth all the drama? Oh, this is like the big choice. Okay. Go to my room or Maya's room? Um. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I feel like if I had to pick what everybody else is going to probably go with, it's probably going to be this left one. Hmm. You know what? Let's try it. I just want to see what happens. Definitely. Fucking finally. When Cox sat us down in the mess hall, I thought you were dead. And today in the airlock, I thought we were dead. I know. I'm just saying, you're not allowed to die on me, Kamina Drummer. Because I'm not losing the one person in the belt they give a shit about. Captain, you're going to want to see this. There's nothing on the map. No record of any settlements. So what the fuck is that? Alright, that was it. I had a feeling it was going to end like... It's like the big decision at the end of the episode is followed by that, and it's kind of perfect. All right. All right, we can see the choices now. Let's see what everybody else picked. All right, I was in the majority there, barely. It's been out for like 48 hours as I'm recording this, so I'm assuming most of the choices... You know what? Let's just start from the bottom. I'm actually curious. Hey, nice. 87%. It felt kind of weird after the moment they had to just, like, deny it, you know? Because... You could tell, even since, like, the first episode, they liked each other. All right. Didn't give Cox anything. Okay, that choice. What is this one? You know what I was worried about here? <laughs> I was worried about copyright. Like, I have it... I have, like, licensed stuff turned off in this game, which is an option. But I still don't trust it. And I was worried about the music part, so I just skipped that. All right. Didn't discover anything about Virgil's past. Okay. That's a pretty... I mean... Hmm. 2%. Wow. All right, 17182. My goodness. Seems like some of these choices are based off of just exploration and finding all the items you actually need. 66% drummer didn't find medication. It's actually surprising. Maybe this kind of shows you as like a developer, I'm assuming maybe it was tough to find. Because if that's like the majority, if you look at like, for instance, this, pretty significant jump there, you know? To this right here, it's like, that seems to be more common, so... I just find it hard to believe 0% is like on a few of these. Didn't find the cigar. Okay. Same as the other one where it's like exploration, finding like little items like here and there, you know? Uh, Alright, that one... Con surgery. Okay. It was a, you know, 50-50 shot there. Never discuss Virgil. Okay. 
And then con surgery didn't find the laser crystal, which we've already seen. All right, I think that's it. <laughs> that's actually funny it says that. So fun fact, the first episode I recorded on Steam, because I had like some beta access, which is what you saw in the first video, it's like a sponsored thing. It's the only way to access it early. Now it's on like Epic Game Store and I had to download it on there and they said I have to replay it. But funny enough, the Steam file carried over. Turn to the main menu. See if anything else pops up. I'm assuming that's it, you know? I think the one thing, yeah, it even shows it. It's weird that this, it says open store if I want, okay. Episode summary, restarts. So we got it all there. Very nice. All right, that's it for now. Thank you all for watching. If you want episode three when it drops, just destroy the like button. You were the best audience ever. Thank you so much for supporting all the random games I've played this year. I really love what I do. I really do. It's like, uh, hope to one day, like, show my son and my daughter, like, hey, here's how you do this. You know, maybe not anytime soon, obviously, but I feel like my daughter would love something like this. Just, like, making videos, you know? But anyways, love you all. Uh, I guess I'll see you in episode three. Here's my hope, right? So I have like the timetable. Let me just, I'm gonna look it up really quick because I'm just curious. Hey, the Expanse, uh, let's see. Episode release times. Release schedule, here it is. All right, we got August 10th, which is episode two. That's now. Uh, episode three is August 24th, interesting. All right, so I definitely will check out episode three when it drops. Four is like, it launches like the same day as Starfield, I think. There's a strong chance I'm going to be playing that and maybe some other stuff. Um, episode 5 is September 21st, which is just before October, so that's good. I think I was mostly worried that October is going to be insane. I mean, Assassin's Creed Mirage, Spider-Man 2, Alan Wake 2, Alone in the Dark, and a bunch of other stuff. And then you got the COD game that comes out every November. Um... I think that's pretty much it, though. But anyways, I'll catch you in episode three if this does well. Thank you all for supporting this channel and these videos. It means a lot to me. And I'll catch you very, very soon. All right. Take it easy.